Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Excel VBA tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a VBA automation to export multiple worksheets to a new Excel workbook. So here in my Excel workbook, I have multiple worksheets. So these are the uh, historical price of uh, different companies. So this one is Walmart, and this, uh, this one is McDonald's, Starbucks, Tesla, and so on. My goal here is I want to write a VBA program to export not all the worksheets, but just a couple worksheets to a new Excel file. So here, let me open my VBA window by going to the developer tab and click on Visual Basic. So here, let's insert a new module. So we'll go to insert and insert a new module. And I'm going to create a subroutine and let's call this subroutine export worksheets. And next, I'm going to create a couple variables and a couple objects. So by default, we have a source workbook, which is uh, this uh, current workbook. And we also have a target workbook, which is the new Excel workbook. So here I'm going to create my worksheet objects. So I'll name uh, the source file, WB source as uh, workbook. And for the target workbook, I'll name this WB targets as workbook. And next, I'm going to create a variable to store my uh, worksheet names. And I'll name this variable worksheets list, a string. And there are a couple ways you can create a list of the worksheet names. So in this case, uh, I'm going to simply just write a uh, write a string to store all my uh, worksheet names. An alternative is you can create a new uh, Excel worksheet and you can have a list of the worksheet names in your list and you can iterate uh, each list one by one but for this example I'm simply just going to uh, manually type the worksheet names so here I'll create an array object and I'll name this object worksheet array as variant And I also want to create a helper variable. So I'm going to so I'm going to declare I as long. Next I want to insert an handler. So here I'm, so here I'm going to say that on air go to air handle. And here I'm going to insert my air handle uh, point. So if I encounter an air, I want to display the air message. And here I'm going to create a clean object point. Now we have all the variables and the objects declared. We can so we can go ahead and uh, create each variable and object. So for my worksheet uh, variable, and this variable is going to contain the the worksheet names that I want to export. So let's say I want to export. Uh, Tesla worksheets, Apple and Google. So these three worksheets. And I'll highlight the the type color to to yellow. And I'll type each worksheet name separate by a colon. So Tesla, T S L A colon. And next will be Apple and colon and Google. I'm going to use the split function and to separate this, uh, these three items uh, using the colon delimiter. So I'll use, I'll use the split function and I'll provide the worksheet list uh, variable. And for the delimiter, it's going to be colon. And I'll pass the output to worksheet array object. Now this worksheet array object is going to work like, a, like an array. Now we can iterate each item within uh, this array object. And here I can use the loop for i equals to, I can use the L bound function to get the lower bounds value from the worksheet array object to upper bound. And 
And here I want to insert a validation. So here I'm going to say that if upper bounds value from the Wachier rate object is equals to minus one, then I want to exit the uh, the subroutine. Oh, and I forgot a couple of things. So here I need to create my workbook source uh, object. So the work, the source workbook is going to be this workbook. And the target workbook is going to be a brand new workbook. So here I'll do, I'll use workbooks.add. And this will create a new Excel file. Now we can reference the source workbook that worksheets. And we'll use the worksheet array uh, object. And we'll provide the index number, which is I. Dot copy. And I want to copy the content to the target workbook. So if you want to provide the target workbook object. Dot worksheets. And we're going to insert the worksheet to the last position of the new Excel workbook. So here I'll do workbook target that will choose that counts. And finally, I'm going to uh, display a message. Export complete. Now, once you're finished, so you want to empty out the objects. So here I'll empty, I'll empty out the workbook objects. So set WB source. It goes to nothing and w and wb targets it goes to nothing and to check if i'm any error so i want to go to debug compile feedback project and if you don't get any pop-up that means uh, everything is good to go now go to view macros and here's our export worksheets macro and i'm going to click on run and here's the message pop-up, export complete. So here's our three worksheets that we specify in, in our worksheet list variable. So this is everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.